Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. I'm just going to do an experiment quickly. Nope, I cannot leave Ashley behind. Right. I've oh, got to hear him moaning. Fossey just distorted chance. Either one, not particularly good. In fact, I definitely, definitely must be enemies about, right? That noise. God, I feel very unsafe. Right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Fall down the stairs. I'm going to find the ammo for this machine gun again. I seem to have plenty of it, all of a sudden. Oh, dear. I know what that guy's doing. I wanted to be grabbed. There we go. Save my ammo that way. I've got plenty of herbs. Please say there's not going to be endless amount of these guys. Oh wow, I'm actually at pistol reloads. Oh shit. I guess I'll just have to use my better guns. Which is actually kind of scary. Because I like to have the pistols reliable fallback and yeah. Uh, back on something that I can't use anymore. God. I think the footsteps are just either on a slight delay or it's just Ashley's or something. Because I swear I keep hearing footsteps after we stop. Matt, please say it's useful. Right. I don't think I can go up to those upper sections then from the looks of this map. I'm just going to give it a quick peek, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be constrained to the lower sections. Yep. Right. Might as well keep on bumbling around down here. Keep the I can't reload this. Right. Fancy room. Are those pressure plates of any, any chance? Will it be trap or puzzle? Oh man, the decisions. Is this... Yeah, I think this might be the puzzle. I, I saw us once in Zelda. There we go. Ambush now? Always ambush? Yep. I suppose this is the safest way to handle the ambush. Oh dear. No, 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 no point using grenades. There's not enough guys about to justify it. Let's just get this out. Come on, day to get closer. Right, I do like. Strange. I I feel much safer in this game when I corner myself. Oh dear. I don't know where he came from. Oh, I think I got an option to suplex then. And I missed it. All the things to miss. You're like falling in from the ceiling or something. I'm just curious. How the heck are you getting in here? Oh, there was more coming through the doorway, right. No ammo. Interesting. <laughs> there we go. Come on! Join in! One of you's got to drop me some ammo at one point. Yes! There are still noises. Yep. Oh, Alright, this must be the last guy, right? He's dressed up in special regalia. Is um, Torian helmet. No, there's still more apparently. Okay, seriously. Are there holes in the ceiling? Oh dear. I don't know what that means. Um, seriously, is, is this endless resp 
It's getting to feel like it. God damn it. I don't like being under pressure. Yeah, that's how you truly take out one of those. Ammo, right. Let's just run for it then. Although I think the train has stopped a bit, but I don't think we're ever going to be safe. Although it does look like we are, maybe. Until we do this, of course. Alright, I'm going to have to hold off, right? Well, she does that, so I guess. Unless I was supposed to, do you know? Huh. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to just run out there and do that and then get ambushed by those guys, but I dealt with the ambush first. So it's kind of underwhelming. Right, I got ammo as a reload. Oh, God, I got some of these green herbs. I could just make a double green, I think, and heal myself up to full at this point. Although I'm really not lacking for inventory space, so I probably could have held on to those till it was critical. But I think green herbs, I think green herbs are like, either a 75% heal or 50%. I'm not exactly sure where the rules stand on those, and if they're consistent throughout Resident Evil games. I the health meters do change. Door or... Nah, it's a door, not a texture. And behind it, hid uh, some minor currency. Do they, do they like, do they not have purses or wallets in this country? They just carry their, carry their money to, to the market in, in vases. I, I guess you could also sell the vase then for added value in trade. It's probably why there's so many around the place. Everyone ends up with these vases they don't need anymore. Because of the stupid trade laws of this, um, does it specify what country we're in? I'm pretty sure it'd be racist to declare uh, <laughs> where I thought it was in the world. From uh, how it's depicted as inhabitants so far as completely mindless, very aggressive people. I don't know. Castles... like this. Saying this is a castle, this is not like a castle, this is more like a palace, almost. I don't know. Some... Somewhere... East Germany, maybe. Oh, don't do that, Leon! Get yourself up there, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, guys are going to come in from the other door after her, and I'm going to have to shoot them. Yep. Oh, God. It's actually quite difficult. Especially, I don't run this low on ammo and everything, apart from, of course, the bully's shotgun. I think it's going to be completely worthless at this stage. God darn it! Come on, please be quick, Ashley. Oh god, there's only one. It's going to be guys on the other side, yeah. Oh dear. Oh, and, um. Come on, Ashley. That's a slight misfire. Have you seen how pathetic this sub submachine gun is? You could have made it through that. Alright, I probably shouldn't have the pistol now because I'm just going to run out of this so quickly. I think this game is getting me shotgun ammo now, you know, the completely worthless one for this situation. Give us a go. I need to find out where the guy came from that grabbed her so fast. There must be more doors up there I'm not seeing. That or more 
more ceiling hatches, and they just like dying from those. Oh, apparently a guy just spawned right there. Please say none of these guys up there can turn into, uh, you know, head crabs. That's, that's the word, right? I'm sure it is. Right, as you just, the game's kindly giving me all this ammo. God damn it, you could be standing a little, at least a little bit closer for me to use this. God darn it. Okay. Mouse is slipping, that's the problem. Okay. Darn this with inventory nav navigation. Right, here we go. Rifle. I got this under control this time. Now, actually, you can wait to like clear the way before you like charge across, I suppose. But nope. Okay, I don't think that guy's actually dead, so you might still be in danger. God, these guys can really run when they want to, don't they? I suppose that's the benefit of these guys over the standard shitty umbrella zombies, right? I suppose that's why they might be interested in this tech. Ah, uh, I bet. Okay, this is just a staple. Every Resident Evil game. I bet Louis is working for Umbrella. Umbrella. Phew! I'm so sure I shot her for a second. Oh well, that's not. That's a bad graphical glitch. I think. Hmm. Just ignore the flashing water. And I'm pretty sure Ashley can uh, can fix this at this stage. Oh yeah. Oh no, he's still walking. Please say he doesn't doesn't plug her at me. Oh my word! Could you not lower yourself? Right. The one's got to do everything, of course. I'm tempted to just leave that guy. He can be the lone survivor to tell tell his tale. You can warn the world about the plagas. And the strange gibberish they're they're forced to speak by it. You tend to build statues that way up. Just gonna say, maybe they didn't quite get the hang of this whole architecture business. You built the rest of the room upside down, I can maybe respect that. Yeah. Bit of illusion. Yes, this is just dangerous, reckless, and silly. I suppose we should expect nothing else from the, the castle of Wibbly Doom. Okay. Well, nice to know the merchant man has his has his means of getting around. You could just take me with you to end the game, you know. I suppose if he did that, though, he can he can make any more money from us. Ah, uh, yes, I can upgrade the Punisher. Do I really want to? Yes, I do. <laughs> I've got no ammo for it at the moment. I feel like the firepower is the great thing to upgrade overall. So. Right, maybe there's one we're getting here for the Punisher. Yeah, right, let's go like that. <laughs> that's still probably a bad idea, considering that I don't think I've got enough ammo to even fully load the Punisher at this point. <laughs> Never mind uh, having an upgrade to it. Will I sell to him the first time? Please, I didn't sell something important. God. You yeah, scope for a mine thrower. This is like the kind of thing you just sort of, you know, plonk at the ground. Semi-auto rifle. I still feel really bad knowing a rocket launcher or anything, but I've not got the money for it, so... I'll just wait. I'll get for his game out the rocket launcher. Proof for my true Resident Evil skills. I still wish I knew how to rotate stuff. I know I did it at one point, didn't I? Could be nice to... 
to have that rotate a bit. So I bet I could, with how empty my inventory is at the moment, I bet I could fit the, uh, the bloody, oh, I think it also reloaded my Punisher to max ammo. But yeah, I bet I could fit uh, a rocket launcher in there. I'm not quite sure what the size of that is, though. I also kind of feel like the TMP should really be replaced with something slightly more effective. Or actually, what is the slightly more effective version of that? Maybe that's affordable. A gun rifle, rifle semi-auto, TMP. Whip and fire customs and mines that attach to an object down after a period of time. I guess there isn't another one. I mean, I guess I get the semi-auto rifle. Which just seems like a way to waste all that very precious ammo very quickly, considering how fast to him. Well, how little of it you get, and, uh, well, imagine that thing, ah, uh, actually, it's only semi-auto, so maybe it just means I have to keep, you know, it's not bot action, so I don't have to have the massive slowdown between shots. That may actually be worth the investment, if that's the case. I just hadn't just reloaded the new, the, uh, other one I have. What am I buying, indeed? Right, it's going to take a ridiculous amount of money, plus I want to get the scope for it. I need 4,500. I don't think I get that from the rifle. Nope, not quite. Hmm. Guns on the door. Weapon room. Sweet. You could tell me I had a second shop, or a brother, I suppose. I mean, that's the only real way I could explain how you got it. I can see why they got rid of the merchant and sort of abstracted it in the next game. It is kind of weird. Oh, it's a shooting range. Choose your weapon type, stranger. Sure. Uh, I guess prizes for doing this? Oh dear. Uh. I think the bow action kind of makes it slightly less effective. Also, it'd be kind of nice if I had some sort of indication how many points I needed before starting this. They have little Ashley pop-ups. For uh, the good guys. Yes, please. Oh god, time is getting faster. 50. Oh, we're 200 now. I guess if I had them dead on, it's worth slightly more. Oh dear. Okay, this is going kind of bad. If I was staying on center, I could do slightly better. Or if, you know, I didn't have to keep pulling back and reloading the shot manually. Order 24, 25 hit. Number of prizes, two. Ah, uh, gets followers, mate. Right. Prizes. Even award two bottle caps. Thank you! If only this was Fallout, I might have a use for that bloody stuff. See prize by scoring above 1,000 points. Bonus points will be awarded for headshots. High scoring Salazar target will appear successive hits. Shooting an Ashley target with duck points. One bottle cap will be awarded for every 1000 points scored. Two special bottle caps will be awarded by either shooting all the wooden targets except Ashley or scoring above 3500 points. There are 24 bottle caps in all. Each time you enter a new shooting range, six new bottle caps will become available. Each time you complete a row on the collector's base, you'll earn bonus points. With a total of four rows, you have four bonus chances. No, bottle cap collections can be viewed in the key slash treasure screen. What's the point of collecting these bottle caps exactly? It's just collectibles, as far as I can tell. I was looking for, like, you know, ammunition rewards. Something useful. Money, maybe? Alright, whatever. Let's just, just leave that guy. Shooting range is not exactly the most interesting thing to watch, so I think I'll uh, 
I'll save you guys that. And actually, as, as interesting street rangers are to watch, uh, I'm going to end this uh, part off now. And afterwards, we'll find out what's up these stairs. I'll catch you next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 4.